I've got a new tool to recommend for you today, the perfect social media management tool for small to medium sized companies or even nonprofits with more features packed into one tool than I have ever seen before. You're gonna love this. I'm Phil Powen, a brand strategist. Welcome to my channel where I promise practical advice to build your brand. For today's video, I'm recommending and giving you a little tour of a great social media management tool called Radar, spelled with two A's, Radar. They are sponsoring this video and let me say I am really impressed by this tool. I have never seen a platform with so many great features like an incredible scheduler with centralized access to stock photos and RSS feeds and even a content scoring tool. Utilities like building a landing page, shortening URLs, sending quick replies, or even managing hashtags task management, similar to Trello, a password manager, analytics. Yes, all of these things in one tool. I can literally think of at least 10 separate subscriptions that I have that could be replaced by this one tool. Now I'm going to show you this tool up close on my computer. Let me start from the dashboard here in Radar. The very first thing that you should do is connect your social media channels. You're going to find that under settings. Then you're gonna go to channels. And finally, you'll click this connect button. And here, you'll see the list of all kinds of social media platforms that you can uh, log into. You can connect to Radar. And it's just impressive and amazing how many platforms that you have access to on this interface. I'm really super impressed by it. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, Pinterest, even TikTok, and so much more. The second thing I want to point out is if you are working with a team, it's important that you obviously invite your team. You'll click this permissions button and right here you'll see uh, the ability to invite someone on your team. You'll just enter their email address and they'll get an invite right away and they can join. And next I'll click up here on inbox. Quite simply, the inbox is where you'll manage any incoming messages, okay? And this is all of the social media platforms that you have connected to your Radar account. Next, I'll click quickly, and I won't spend a lot of time here, but monitoring just like any other um, social listening functionality, but I really like how it's laid out here and how simple it is to use. Here, this is where you would monitor keywords, okay? You've got different ways of sorting those. You can define channels, you can define sources, you can even assign users on your team. Really straightforward. This is where you would monitor for mentions of keywords or maybe mentions of your brand. You would do all of that right here. Now let's go to scheduler, which I think is the most impressive feature of Radar. First of all, you can click this calendar to get multiple views. I think in this case, I'll stick with the monthly view. That tends to be my favorite to see everything at a high level. Now, if I go to create some content, I'll click this right down here, new post. I can either post it live or I could uh, schedule one obviously in advance, which is awesome. I'm gonna X out of these training parts cause I'm kinda giving you the tour here. To create content, you have some amazing options here, okay? We would obviously choose wherever we want, whatever channel we want this on, but this gets cool. So from here, I can upload content, uh, images, media. I can upload it. I can also drag it directly in from platforms like Canva or even Vista Create, depending on what you use. Um, you've got different post types, okay? So this is an image, you can do video, you can do carousel posts, hyperlinks, text, stories, all kinds of options. Give things titles, captions, pretty straightforward. When I click here to upload media, I wanna point something out to you. You actually have access to a stock photo library without ever leaving Radar. So Unsplash is a really popular one, but you've got some others here. Pixels, uh, Pixabay, Jiffy, or Giffy, however you pronounce it, Tenor. These are all really, really great stock photo websites. So let's go ahead and look and type in here Rainforest, just for fun to see what comes up. You've got some beautiful images. We'll choose one. And even before using it in my social media posts, I can actually click photo editor. If I wanted to make some touch-ups of whatever kind here, I won't in this case, because I think it looks pretty amazing. I'll click save. It will load it into my social media post where then I can, if I want, have it as a thread on Twitter, for example. 
there are just so many options here. Honestly, there are so many options that it's just really impressive. Even the ability to tag a user, you can do that all from Radar, the platform itself. Let me show you something else that's really cool. Notice over here, this little rocket content co-pilot this is called, and I am such a fan. This is going to make suggestions. First of all, it will score your content, okay? And then it's gonna make suggestions on how to make that social media post better. So you do not need to be an expert to be using Radar. You could be a beginner in social media and Radar, this tool is actually going to teach you how to improve your content strategy, right? So it's showing you where you get your score from. My score is very low in this case, so I better honestly make some improvements here by selecting the social media channels, adjusting the best length, using hashtags, adding a first comment, tagging people, adding a location. These are all great examples of ways of making your social media content better. Best of all, you can actually see a preview. Obviously, I haven't drafted my post yet, but you could see a preview of it here. You've also got your content library. So let's say you're working from templates or you're wanting to create templates. You can do that here. Again, the stock photo library. You can be saving things like that, like stock photos managing hashtags. So here we go. We can look at the top hashtags on Instagram as well as how many uh, ta times or tags that they have. I can also do a search. So let's say I'm doing one on branding. I can look at that hashtag and see how many times it's been used. Such a helpful feature. If you like um, reading RSS feeds or importing RSS feeds from news sources or blogs to get content ideas, you can do do exactly that. Again, all within Radar, the interface. Finally, if you have a dialogue about, um, you know, with your team about the social media content that you're posting, you have a question, again, you can do it all from Radar. So that is the scheduler. I absolutely love it. Next, we're going to look at analytics. Here in analytics, straightforward, but pretty advanced. So you can actually pair your Google Analytics account here and you can pull in a, a few different sources here to start to pull some analytics, some numbers, some numbers crunching in some reports. Very straightforward, very useful, and something you should be keeping track of. I love that you can do that from Radar. Also, I've never seen this integrated before in a social media management tool, but the ability to store and manage passwords. So maybe you're using a tool like LastPass. Well, you can use it here in Radar. There's still lots to show you, so I'm gonna keep going. Utilities, again, some features here you wouldn't expect to find in a social media management tool, but are so awesome to have. A URL shortener, you can do it right here. You can even generate a landing page, what? This is so cool and so crazy. They've even got some templates you can start from. So let me click this example, and that's gonna give you a Again, something to just start creating from. Let me give sample page. Let me give this a title. And here we can actually use the drag and drop settings to design something awesome. If you want a landing page for whatever reason, again, you can do it directly from here. Also managing your quick replies on social media can be really helpful. A hashtag manager, I mentioned that earlier. You can see my searches there still that are saved. Again, access, quick access, I should say, to that stock library, RSS feeds, and there are just so many features built into one tool. I'm honestly skimming the surface in this video. There's one more thing I wanna show you tasks. This is so cool. Let's just create a sample board quickly. If you ever use Trello or a project management tool, then you would already be familiar with this. Obviously, I just created this, so you're not seeing much yet. But under tasks, like a task management tool like Trello, you can start to actually organize your tasks. Task today. Um, and create a new card and add it here and keep track of what you're doing to do doing done. So not only can you schedule or post social media content across platforms, pull in stock photos. Um, you can look at it in calendar view, week view. You can actually access analytics. You can get a score on your content and get ideas for improvement, manage passwords, utilities like a uh, landing page or bit.ly, you know, link shortener, um, their version of that and also manage your tasks. When I say 
I've never seen so many features built into one platform. I really mean it. I'm super impressed. So that's Radar. And truly, I am only skimming the surface of these tools and features that it boasts. When I say that I've never seen so much functionality packed into one platform, I really mean it. Let me add one more thing. This tool is super affordable compared to other social media management tools. It's affordable and it is totally worth it, in my opinion. I've linked to the tool below. Go ahead and check it out for yourself. You can also enjoy a 14-day free trial, which gives you the opportunity to try it before paying the subscription. If you've got any lingering questions, comment below. Let's keep the conversation going on down there. I respond to those personally. And if you enjoy this video, give it a like. That helps other people discover these videos, which I work hard to create for you. And subscribe for more of my videos on branding, positioning, building, and promoting your brand. Next, I'm sharing a few videos I think you'll be interested in. I'm Phil Palin. Thanks for watching, and those videos are coming up next.